So we're get, just getting used to using the, the heel shifter here on the Moto Guzzi El Dorado. I love it. So, you know, if I end up, so you can see where the wear on my shoe is from the, the toe shifting. You know, if I'm wear, if you're, uh, for instance, the, on your gentleman's, distinguished gentleman's ride, and you're wearing your Italian shoes on your Italian motorcycle, and you don't want to scuff the leather, you can use that heel shifter and you never have to, to uh, scuff that leather. So all of you uh, fashion icons out there, that's something that's nice about using the pedal. We're just getting used to riding the Moto Guzzi. It's a, again, I, I can't, I've probably said this in like four or five videos now. This is like a dream bike for me. Uh, it's just in so many ways. It's a head turner. It's comfortable. It rides so super smooth. But at the same time, this 1400 transverse V-twin engine just gets up and goes. Uh, we don't really use it in Veloce, which is uh, like the sport mode. It's called Veloce's Fast in Italian. Don't really use that because I don't really feel like you even need to. You would even need to to use sport mode because this has so much power ready to be delivered in that throttle, which is you know when when you're not uh, when you have no reason to to uh, to be zipping around. Which on a bike like this, I mean, you're not, that's not really the point. Uh, but there's plenty of passing power. When you're on the freeway, like, whether you got to shift down and, and uh, keep going, there's plenty of power in that in a, a large RPM range. In, in Turismo uh, on the highway, I, I've rode this thing for three hours on the highway, and yeah, there was just no problems. Uh, and for a bike that looks and kind of like upon approach when you when you sit on the bike and you, and you look at it it looks like this big beast of a bike but what i'll say is i did a, quite a bit of lane splitting when i was on the highway and for a wide big beefy bike it just i didn't ever feel like oh crap you know it's it's tight it's a tight fit down those highway lanes and what i will say what I'll, what I'll add to that though is and i don't think that you're probably going to buy a bike like this if you're a, a newer rider Maybe you will, but if you're a newer rider, you're going to be cautious about lane splitting. You might not even be in a part of the country or the or of the world that allows lane lane splitting or lane filtering. But if you are, I can let you know. Uh, you know, it's just a. It's not a big deal, and. I, I did finally I did scrape the floorboard here. The nice thing though about the floorboards is that they have this this rubbery plastic coating on the bottom. So instead of scraping the metal on your floorboards, you're gonna scrape that and you're gonna scrape it until until it's uh, needs to be replaced. And I'm guessing that that part because this bike is no longer being built might be hard to find. But at the same time, uh, I'm not somebody who rides so aggressively that I'm gonna be scraping those those uh, floorboards all the time. But I finally did it and uh, it wasn't scary. You know, because it doesn't feel like you're scraping metal on pavement, uh, so that that was that was nice. Uh, just kind of learning the ins and out of the motorcycle. We're probably going to have a video here where we uh, where we clean up the the white walls on the tires. The front tire is okay, but the you know the the, the, the tire that's that's driving the, the motorcycle here with the with this really awesome shaft driven final drive on the Moto Guzzi. Uh, it's, it's starting to look a little brown, and so we're gonna clean that up. Uh, that'll be my first time. I've had white white walls per se on my Sportster. On the the, the, the tires that I had when I first bought the bike had uh, the the branding was was a uh, white wall, and you know I I just didn't really care for it. But on a bike like this, uh, it, it looks awesome. It just looks awesome. This I mean all the way around this bike looks awesome, and in my opinion, obviously this is why, why one of the reasons why I bought it. But, oh, jeez. Can I get here? We won't filter, though. We'll or split these lanes. We'll be fine. So, yeah, you know, the, the, there wasn't really much of a learning curve. You know, I've had cruisers before. Uh, even though I, I rode the, 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 the Super Duke for so long, it wasn't, I, you know, I've, I've been riding all kinds of motorcycles. I've ridden over 80 different bikes in my 14 years of riding. So, you know, it wasn't that big of a, a deal learning, but there's just little things 
that I'm getting used to, especially when I switch back and forth between the Harley. I've got the turn signals that don't self-cancel and the turn signals that are only on one side. But uh, I, as far as like a short-term review of this bike, like there's just, there hasn't been anything that, to complain about. I, I love everything about this motorcycle. I wish that there was these, there was something that uh, I could complain about. Um, we're gonna have some fun videos up in the future. There's Moto Guzzi has an amazing history, and I'll, we'll talk about that in in a in a video in the in the in the future. But you know, it's just so fascinating to me the history of the company, the history of the of the city where the the uh, uh, Modelo, Italy, where they build Moto Guzzi's motorcycles by hand. I mean, this it's just so cool. It's so special. I feel really fortunate to be a, a Guzzista, is what they call them. And uh, yeah, there's just so much to learn more about this motorcycle. I've been going through the manual, you know, replaced the battery, and so, uh, you know, had to, had to get into the manual a little bit for that. And we had the, the, the warning light, which I'll, I'll put a link here in this video for that. Um, that went, that uh, came up the other day. But yeah, there's all these little things even though this bike looks super vintage, super classic, uh, there's a lot of really cool tech built in and um, just learning new fun things about this all the time. If you have an Eldorado or you know about the Eldorado and you know uh, little secret things that, uh, that I don't, leave them in the comments. Uh, or if you have questions about the bike, make sure you leave those in the comments too. Hope you enjoyed this video where we just kind of did a little run through of the motorcycle, how things are going, the things that I'm learning. Uh, but yeah, a little progress report on owning an El Dorado. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you are out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric. I'm that one guy. And I am out.